Hello everyone, welcome back to the 1.19 Hardcore World. If you don't remember, last episode, we built this bridge. And honestly, it's so much easier getting over here to our cows and sheep now. Hello cows. Okay, so now that we've bred our cows, it's time to get started with the episode. And to be honest, I'm kind of hitting a dead end when it comes to ideas at the moment. I don't know what it is. I've been trying to do a video a week and I think it's maybe draining me a little bit. Or maybe I just, you know, I'm kind of really into the just regular survival world at the moment. So that's probably part of it too. But I honestly feel that we desperately need to do some mining because as much as I am doing okay, I think having some low level enchants on our armor and our tools and things would be amazing. And for that, we need diamonds to make an enchanting table and we have absolutely no diamonds. So I reckon that that might be the first task for today. So I'm not entirely satisfied with the area that we've sort of started mining in at the moment. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a sus to see if there's anywhere else that I reckon would be a good sort of mining base area, somewhere we can put our mine. I don't mind the look of this island it is pretty big and it seems like there are lots of holes everywhere so hopefully that's a good sign i just don't really know where exactly we would start a mine because it is kind of very open already and this being hardcore i don't really want to go right into the mines just yet okay so now we're off the island not too far away. I don't want it to be too far from our base is the other thing. Like this isn't too far, but it might be a little bit of a pain every time I want to go mining to have to travel all this way. And I think over here is the village, yeah. So we don't really want to encroach on the village area too much. You know what, we probably could do some sort of build here. I actually really struggle with mine entrance builds. I don't know what it is. They're just so hard for me to conceptualize, I guess and make interesting and different, but I reckon we can start here and see how we go. It's a pretty dead end cave, but that's fine to be honest. We can slowly hollow this out. I reckon we can create some sort of cool build here, maybe even a port since I'm pretty sure it was very close to the water. And yeah, I reckon this can be a cool spot. So I'm going to now spend some time digging down to diamond level. I'm not sure how many iron picks it will take, probably a few, but I will bring you back either when I hit diamond level or I find something interesting. While I'm mining, I thought I'd ask if you guys are keeping up with the 1.20 announcements that seem to be coming out rather quickly. We've seen the sniffer, archaeology is coming back, and just today they announced that there's going to be a new biome and new trees. So now we're getting two new wood types in this update. And the new wood type announced is cherry blossoms, which I think look so pretty. And I can't wait to see what people do with them in terms of builds and things. I know people have wanted pink wood for a while, so it'll be interesting to see what people can come up with using the cherry blossom wood. Hate mining through gravel. Hmm. Well, I was kind of... Okay, hello, skeleton. I was kind of hoping we'd just be able to go straight down without any sort of interruption, but I guess that's not going to happen. Yes, I see you. Where did you go? You're over there. Ow, oh, don't you shoot me off, please. Stop it. Oh, gosh. Something could fall on us. Okay, this is a little bit dangerous. There we go. Nice and safe. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was horrifying. Oh. Okay. You know what? We're not ready yet. Uh, hello? What? 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 This is crazy. This is so many. And we're only at Y level 21. 
I don't think I ever see pockets of diamonds like this until I'm at least in the 50s. Well, I mean, wow. I'm kind of at a loss for words. Oh my gosh, there's more. What is this? That was six diamonds. Six diamonds already? Okay, I am at Y level 55. Now, I'm not really sure what the best level is to mine on these days. I do miss the easier diamond level mining days. I think I see stuff online between Y negative 55 and Y negative 59. On my survival world, I mine on Y level negative 59 and it isn't too bad, but I thought maybe on this world, we can mine at Y level 55 and see how it goes. But for now, I think I'm gonna head back up to the surface because we've got plenty of diamonds to get us started. We can make a diamond pickaxe and finally mine some obsidian and then we can get an enchanting table and then some nice early level enchants to keep us a little bit more protected. So I'll see you back on the surface. Oh. No, what did you just hit me with? Not poison, I hope. Get out of here, witch. There we go. Our first diamond pick. Oh, it looks so cool. And I'm pretty sure there's lava over here as well, which will be perfect. Aha. And I think if we just do that, we should get a whole heap of obsidian. And now we early game obsidian mine. This is so tedious. Ice bucket challenge, advancement made. So we need some paper. Craft up a bunch of books. And then, there we go, our enchanting table. And I'm just going to get a bit more wood and hope that we can at least craft a bookshelf. <laughs> that is not much at all. Do I not have any other leather anywhere? I'm going to quickly see if I can find any um, cows. Okay, we actually have enough for a full setup, which I'm quite surprised about, to be honest. But I'm not going to question it. And I think for now, we can set up our enchanting table here in our little keep. I think it will do perfectly well. And later on, maybe we can build a cool tower for it or something like that. Now, yeah. there we go, we've got level 30. So now we can put some enchantments on our gear. And there we go. We're a little bit safer now, I feel much better. We're all sparkly and shiny too. After all that digging, I kinda wanna go exploring again. I mean, we can't not, now that we're a little bit safer. We've got our sparkly armor on, I've got a whole heap of steak. I think we're ready to go. Now, last time we sort of went that way and I think looped back around. So I think this time we'll go back that way, but loop up a little bit. Just so, you know, we're slowly covering the area. This looks mildly horrifying. Yep. Oh, that's a geode though. I think we actually spawned somewhere over here, if I'm not mistaken. Something about the birch is jogging my memory. We have once again hit ocean. I can't remember if this is the same ocean that we went out on last time. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, okay, there's the ocean monument, so, hmm. Maybe we have already been out this way. Don't know if I've explored this savannah though, so maybe we can dock somewhere over here. Okay, we found a little village, I guess. A drowned village. Hello, a drowned. Do you have any treasure that I can steal? I see it. But I also see many of you, including a baby with a trident? What? That seems illegal. Um, okay. I think I can just go for it. Ow. Oh. No, I cannot go for it. I'm getting attacked by the baby with a trident. 
Does anybody else have a trident? How many of you have tridents? Just the baby. Okay, maybe I can get a trident. No, there's two of you with tridents. Ow. Drop your trident. Oh my god, how tanky are you? Did it drop it? Oh, I'm drowning. Okay, this is actually bad. Let's not get distracted, Sam. No drowning allowed. Oh, and he has a fishing rod. These guys have all sorts of stuff. Okay, let's have a look and see where this treasure is. Hello, turtles. Are you hiding some treasure over here? I think that you are. Oh, there it is. No drowning. There we go. Oh, oh, more diamonds. And some iron, a heart of the sea, and some cooked food. Perfect. Well, I guess since we're on land, we might as well explore this savannah a little bit. See if there is anything here worth finding or looting. So let's go for a little bit of a wander. What is that? Oh my goodness. You guys, we found a coral reef. Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. Coral reefs are hands down one of my favorite biomes in the game, but I never really know what to do with them and I don't come across them all that often. But look, look at all the colors. Okay, this trip has definitely been worth it just for that. Oh my gosh, there's another guardian temple here. Okay, note to self, this world is dangerous in the oceans. Look at it. It's so pretty. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've just come across this most gorgeous coral reef. And that looks like a mesa to me. Uh, okay, coral reef, I love you, but I don't think I ever come across mesas in, in survival worlds. Like, they just seem to be one of the rarest of biomes. Oh, but maybe it's a tiny mesa. That wouldn't be great. Is this it? Is this the, the size of the mesa? No. Someone's playing a joke, surely. This can't be it. There's gotta be more somewhere this way, surely. Oh, now this is cool. Admittedly, it's not that cool right now, but it will be cool because I think desert wells are where you're going to find suspicious sand, which is where you can do archeology. span Is it really just a tiny, teeny, tiny, eeny, weeny piece of mesa? Oh, okay. Now we're finding stuff. Hopefully we can find some good stuff in this desert temple. I just saw a creeper, I just saw a creeper, I can see a creeper. I can see two creepers, oh my gosh. Ah! <sighs> two? Guys, I don't think I'm cut out for the hardcore. I'm so glad I remembered my shield though this time. Goodness. I will take this TNT just in case. Now, let's see what we have. Bones. Emeralds. Oh, a saddle. We can get a horse. More iron. Oh, a golden apple. That is brilliant. Wow, lots of gunpowder. Another golden apple. And punch too. Not bad. Now let's see if there is anything else out in this desert. Oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, that could not be the size of the mesa. This is much more of a mesa. Oh, and there's a mine shaft right there. This is more what I'm talking about. Look at all this terracotta. This is gonna be such 
a good resource for building. And I don't think we're terribly far from our home. Okay, we are. But still. It's not too bad. And we kind of came here in a roundabout way, so I can imagine it would be much more straightforward to get here now that we know where this is. And now that we're here, we have to have a look around, don't we? Like, this is huge. This is so cool. My goodness, this is a giant hole in the ground. But look at all the gold. I forgot how much gold spawns here. This will be so good. Because I definitely want to do some stuff with power rails and things. So, definitely going to come back here and get a lot of this gold once we are more geared up. This place just keeps going. Whoa. Check out this huge ravine cave. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, and it turns into a dripstone cave. That's cool. Very cool and very dangerous. Okay, as much as I want to stay and explore this giant mesa a lot more, I have come up with the next move for our building and our base. So I'm going to head home and we'll get started on that. And we're back. Turns out that mesa is pretty much just in that direction, about a thousand and a half blocks. So pretty close if you ask me. Next up, I think we're going to set up a temporary wall around the village and start breeding them up and using them and developing the village because I think that we got to make use of them. Like we can't just not use the villagers and I think it'll be a cool project. So I'm going to get some supplies together and then we're going to build a temporary wall so that our villagers can finally come out. We're back here in the village and I've been doing a little bit of thinking. It does have a few dangers though. So in order to protect our villagers from the evil glow squids and other things, I think the first step before I let all of the villagers out that I have temporarily placed in their homes is to put up a fence or a wall, sort of outlining the area that we're claiming as the village associated with our sort of parcel kingdom area that we've got going on just so that you know people know that it's ours and they they stay out and also so we know where our villages should be at all times but first i actually have a saddle and there are a few horses around here and i wouldn't mind claiming one or befriending one sorry just so that it's a bit easier to get to and from our island to the village itself. There we go. Not too bad. This one will do the trick. If you have any name suggestions, leave them in the comments below. I think I've got everything that I'll need, at least for now. I'm just sort of going to mark out the spruce and then go along with cobble after that. So I think, I mean, I guess here's a good a starting point as any. So we'll just do two spruce and a trap door and that. I think we'll stop people from being able to get in mobs and also stopping things from spawning. And I can't forget to go back along here with slabs. This is probably going to be a very ugly build, at least to start with, but Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will this village be, so... And somehow the wall is done. And I think also I've managed to somehow make it odd the whole way around, but I guess that's how it works if you just continue in an odd numbered pattern, but it matched up perfectly kind of almost. But yeah, so we've got this huge perimeter around our village and I reckon we can create some sort of dock here in the future, maybe I know I said I was thinking about having the farms in before we hit the village, but I think having farms over... Oh, and there is a fire. Excuse me one second. I don't have my water bucket on me. That is a bit dangerous. Please, no fire. Thank you. We can also try and have a couple of exit points, I guess. And yeah, from here we can really just build it into whatever we want. I guess I'll have a think about 
building style and palette, although I kind of just want to keep the standard palette, I guess, and just elevate it a little bit, but I don't know how that will look. But now that we have a mesa as well, we can sort of add in all of those blocks. I think that would be really cool. The next thing, I guess, is to make sure the whole place is lit up because we do not want any mob spawning. Oh, I've probably way, way, way overcompensated with the torches, but better to be safe than sorry. Now, I actually haven't put in an entry, which is the next thing I probably should worry about. So I guess for now, this is sort of like the best spot, I suppose. Okay, the fence is in, the gate is in. I guess the next thing is to just let the villagers out. Hello. Yes, you're free. Did I, how many did I trap in the end? I think I got most of them. I think that's everybody. They're all free. Oh, and they're congregating. Hello, friends. Yes. Do you like your new fence? Or your new wall? It's very safe. Very secure. And I promise your village is going to be great. You've got plenty of space. We've got heaps of room to expand. Lots of projects that we can now work on in terms of building this place up making it over. Oh, actually, I brought some more wool with me, so I might even make a few beds. Oh, that's just to, um, you know, encourage the the repopulation of this village since, since it's going to be huge. I think we can also use this hay to give them um, some encouragement. Why are you hanging out here? This is the wall. Yes, you can't get out. Would you like some wheat? You would. What about you? Would you like some wheat? There you go. Oh, and someone's taken up the farming trade over here too. There we go. Our first trade. Well, our first trade in our new village. Thank you, sir. Well, to be honest, I think we've achieved quite a lot in this episode. We've gone exploring, we've got diamonds, we got enchanting set up, we found a freaking huge mesa, and now we've claimed this village and we are slowly helping the villagers grow their little village into a bustling town. I think we've got plenty to work on in the coming episodes. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty slow series because that's how I like to play the game. But thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, let me know for the village. I have, you know, a few ideas in my head, but definitely wouldn't hurt to hear some more opinions. And please be kind to yourselves. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!